Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jacob Gago here. First and foremost, before we go into this, don't make fun of me with this red sweater. It is Christmas time, why not? It was one of my gifts. Hopefully it doesn't look nerdy on me. I'm not trying to look like Napoleon, but whatever it is, I think it's nice. So I am working on a 2023 desk setup and one of the things I'm changing is my Thunderbolt dock. After doing many hours of research, I've come down to two that's gonna work for my setup. One of them is pretty popular out there. Almost every YouTuber I know is recommending it. And the other is because I've already been using OWC products for the past five years and I just wanted to get something more modern from them. If you're also in the same boat as me, trying to figure out which of these two is the best, or you just wanna know the similarities or the differences, the pros and the cons of both of these, well, keep watching, and at the end, I'll also tell you which one I decide to go with. The first obvious thing to do is first unbox. So let's unbox first the OWC, and then we'll do the TS4. First impressions, this thing is a lot smaller. Uh, this is my old Thunderbolt 2. And so if you see this, look at that, way smaller. So there's a big chunk there and then on the sides, that's also smaller too. And then we have, I'm guessing the Thunderbolt 4 cable and then the power brick. All right, and then of course the power cable. So we'll put this to the side. It doesn't look like there's anything else in the box. Now for the TS4, which I've never got in my hands even on the TS3. So this is pretty exciting. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked this small thing is so strong. So it looks like everything is down here. All right, so this is going to be for the stand. Thunderbolt 4 cable again. Also the power supply and the brick. Let's talk about the design. With the Cal Digital, quite honestly, seeing it in person, it's actually pretty nice. It has a space gray look. Um, it's not like the MacBook Pro. With the OWC, like I showed earlier, it's a lot more compact and smaller, which I must say, I love it very much. And just as well, it has a space gray look. The camera won't really show it, but if we put it next to the space gray MacBook Pro, it's kind of similar. Like the OWC is a little brighter and the Cal Digital is a little darker. Now, the nice thing about this is you could keep it vertical and obviously you cannot keep it vertical. I guess you kind of can, but it's not going to work out that way. That's not how it was intended. You could even see the feet is on the bottom here. So it's supposed to be like that. Now let's talk about the similarities and differences with these docks. Now, instead of me going through each one individually, I'll go by category and we'll see where the similarities and differences are there. And we'll also assign points to each of them. And let's see which one comes out with the most points. Starting off with the ports, the TS4 has 18 ports and the OWC has 11 ports. So that obviously means the TS4 gets one point there, but let's see what those additional ports are and see if it's even worth it. You can see with the Cal Digit, it has the micro SD and also the regular SD slot, whereas with the OWC, it only has the SD slot. Obviously you could get adapters for that, but the TS4 gets the point for that. Next is gonna be the headphone and microphone jacks. With the OWC, it does have a front combo jack and that just means if you have a headset you just plug in right in there and you'll be good to go with the cal digital well it's pretty interesting in the front you still have the combo jack but guess what in the back you also have them separated so you have the microphone and then you have also the headphone jack they're giving you the convenience some people would love to put it in front and then to have a cleaner look without wires in the front they give you the option to put it in the back so again the ts4 gets another point for this. Now let's talk about the good part. One of the main reasons why I'm even upgrading to a Thunderbolt 4. Let's talk about the Thunderbolt 4 connections. With the Cal Digit, you get three Thunderbolt 4 connections and that's going to be in the back. So one is gonna be for the host computer and that's gonna give you 98 watts. So that means if you have a 16 inch MacBook Pro, like I do, you should be good to go. So that would mean you have two other free Thunderbolt 4 connections that should be good and open for you. With the OWC, you actually have four Thunderbolt connections. In the front, you're gonna have the host computer and that's gonna give you 96 watts of power. So about two less watts from the TS4. And in the back, you're going to have three additional Thunderbolt 4 connections. Now they're both gonna run on 40 gig speeds per second, but if we were to give the Thunderbolt 4 round to this, it's gonna be the OWC for giving us additional Thunderbolt 4 connections. Now let's go ahead and look at the USB connections. This part does get a little interesting, so make sure to follow along. We'll do the easier one first. With the OWC, it has four USB-A ports. Now the front, I should mention, is going to be 2.0 
which I don't understand why they'll do that, but it is there. In the back, you're gonna get the USB 3.2, which runs at 10 gigabit speeds. Something pretty funny on my prior version, you can see that it says high powered right there and also high powered in the front. I thought the OWC would do something like that, but there is no place so far that shows one of them is high powered. With the TS4, you have eight USB ports and they're broken down in two sections. There's the USB type C and then there's the regular type A. You're gonna get three USB C type inputs. In the front, you're gonna get two USB type C's and in the back, you get the additional one. Now, the something to mention is on the front, the first one is gonna give you 20 watts power. Wow, that is awesome. That's gonna be really beneficial for chargers that need additional power. And then lastly, you have five USB type A ports. One is gonna be in the front and then the other four is gonna be in the back. If you look at the front of the TS4, it's going to have a battery indicator and it's also gonna have the same thing in the back. And that just means even when it's not connected to the host, it's still gonna be able to charge. Obviously in this round, the TS4 wins in a landslide. Just having the additional USB type C ports plus USB type A port, it's a no brainer. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, let's wait. Please do it and let's continue. So let's talk about how you connect this at all to the computer. First, starting with the TS4, except for the first one, you have the ability to connect through Thunderbolt 4 to any display and you're given a display port connection for some people, they might hate that. They would have preferred a HDMI 2.1, but the good thing is they gave us a DisplayPort 1.4, which is just as important. And then you could just get adapters that go from DisplayPort to HDMI, or you get a DisplayPort to USB-C. Something to keep in mind that's really important, if you are doing the DisplayPort adapter to HDMI, make sure it shows the word active. If it doesn't show the word active, it's not gonna work. With this, you could power up up to an 8K display, and that means you could do one 5K or 8K display at 60 hertz, two 4K displays at 60 hertz, a dual 5K 60 hertz. Now this is gonna be the Apple Studio, or a dual 6K 60 hertz, which is the Apple XDR, or one 4K display at 144 hertz. Something to keep in mind, in case you need more ports, well, CalDigit sells the mini dock, which allows you to plug in one cable and now you're given access to more ports. With the OWC, any of the ports in the back is gonna be able to power up a display, also up to 8K, and one 5K or 8K display at 60 hertz, two 4K displays at 60 hertz, or one 4K display up to 120 hertz. Now keep in mind also with the OWC, if you need a HDMI here, it doesn't have it, but you could also get a HDMI adapter such as HDMI to USB type C and you should be good to go on that. I believe both of them have good connectivity, so they will both get one point. The next category is ethernet. The TS4 runs at 2.5 gigabits ethernet and the OWC goes at one gigabyte. So the point will go to the TS4. Next is the power supply for the nerdy ones out there. The TS4 pushes 230 watts and the OWC pushes 135 watts. That's pretty big of a difference. So the point definitely goes to the TS4 here. Next is the charging. The TS4 goes at 98 watts and the OWC is at 96 watts. This is a tie. They both get a point on this. Something to also mention, if you have the M1 MacBook Pro, the 16 inch, it requires a lot more power and it has MagSafe. With the TS4, you can still plug in your MagSafe charger and the TS4 will automatically stop sending power to your laptop. I'm not sure if the OWC does that, but I wouldn't doubt if it also does it as well. Next category is security. The OWC has the Kissington lock and a nano one now another cool thing with OWC it has something known as the OWC cling on which just secures your Thunderbolt cable so you don't mistakenly trip over it and remove the wires from the back and then for the TS4 you only get the Kensington lock so the point here will go to the OWC the next category deals with the indicator lighting when you plug in the OWC the indicator turns white the moment it receives signal from a host computer it now turns blue with the Cal digit, you wouldn't even see any indicator until you plug it in, then you get a white light indicator. In this round, I would prefer to give the point to the OWC because it at least lets you know that the dock is receiving power. So the point goes to OWC here. Both of the docks run on the new M1 and M2 MacBook Pros. 
and also work on Windows. So for this round, they're both going to get a point. And then some notable mentions, both of them have a software that allows you to eject all your volumes or your drives, whatever it may be, all at once called a dock ejector. And they're both Apple Super Drive ready as well. So that's also pretty good. And so that means they will both get a point again. In terms of the warranty, both of the docks come with a two year warranty. So again, they both get one point. The price of the dock for the TS4 is gonna be $400, whereas with the OWC, it's $300. And it's on sale right now at the time of recording this video for 278, so there is that. But the extra $100, you're really paying for the additional ports and the functionality of the TS4 being a little more superior. Both prices are steep, but in terms of points here, we're obviously going to give it to the OWC. If I was to talk about the pros and cons, the biggest pro for the TS4 is you're future proofing yourself by having the 2.5 gig ethernet plus more available ports. So I don't see you upgrading or finding an additional dock. So you should be really good with the TS4. The pro of the OWC, it's moderately priced for what it comes with. I think it is worth the $300 mark. I wish it could be a little lower, but it does live up to the value. In terms of the con for the TS4, at first I had a con that the design was whatever, but looking at it in person, I actually don't mind it now. But the biggest con for this, it is expensive. The biggest con for me with the OWC is the host connection is in front. Being that I want a much cleaner look for my new desk setup, it is a little bit of a hindrance, whereas with the TS4, the host connection is in the back of the unit. Also, the OWC is a little older in the market, thus it doesn't have more of the newer features. Also, Ethernet, one gigabits per second. It's not bad, but it is a lot more slower. TS4 is a lot more newer in the market and it came out in 2022. So which of these docks am I going with? Well, it's a little obvious that I'm going for the TS4 just because of the additional functions, the ability to have the hose connection in the back, making the, everything look cleaner, the 20 watts in front, the display port. There are so many great benefits of having the CalDigit. So now I wanna hear from you, which of these docks would you go for and why? Would you pay that extra $100 for the CalDigit? I wanna mention that I do have my desk setup video coming soon. This thing is gonna be one of the best setups I've ever done. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.